So the customer sees the list and he says, that's great, but when I select an item, I want to have all these different options. How on earth do you do that? By using list view command sets. So in classic SharePoint, you had custom actions. Now in SharePoint Online, in the modern experience, we have list view customizations, these command sets. What we're going to do is take a brief look at how to implement these using the template that's provided for us. Let's dive straight in. So I'm going to start adding my extension to the project. I'm going to make sure I'm using version 14 of Node. And then I'm going to type Yo for Yeoman. Choose Microsoft SharePoint as the generator. And the solution name is going to be List View Command. I'm going to create a subfolder. Those, and it's going to be an extension. And it is a List View Command Set. The command set name is demo. Why not? I'm going to go into the folder. I'm going to open a separate window for this project. So as you can see, it's scaffolded for me a basic uh, extension for me. And we've got this demo command set has been created for us. As you can see there, it's got a built in command one where we're going to alert and command two where we're going to alert. Also scaffolded for us is the on init command, the on list view updated, and notice it says only display if we've selected at least one row. And then what happens when we execute? Well, we've got two commands. If it's command one, we're going to just display this sample text. If it's command two, we'll display this uh, standard text as well. So now it's scaffolded it this for us, we can imagine all kinds of various things we would want to do with it. But how do we run it? How do we debug it? Well, we need to look in the serve file. In the serve file, we need to say where we're going to debug this to. Notice it comes with the default Contoso in there. So I've created this test list here, and I want this, these commands to appear on this bar here. So I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to go back to my code and I'm going to replace it with that. I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to do the same here. Excellent. So I've now configured it for debugging. So I'm going to open up my terminal, make sure I'm using the latest version or the compatible version of Node. And I'm going to do gulp serve and it should open up the page we specified. First thing it will ask me, of course, is do I want to load debug scripts? Yes, I do. And immediately you'll see it's got our commands in here. So if I click command two, there it says this command is always visible. What does that mean then? Well, if you remember, we had the selected item. So command two is always visible. If I select an item, then command one becomes visible too. Okay, let's go back to the code and look a bit deeper. So notice on our list view updated, we got command one and we said only visible if an item has been selected, meaning that by default command two would always be visible. If I was to remove that, then we know that that would appear as well. In the manifest file, there we can also set the title for it and we can set the image URL for it. So if I changed this to um, selected and I showed this one to always on and then I was to run it again, you'd notice that always on is always on and if I select an item then we'll see we've got the selected command in here. So hopefully this should introduce you to the template. You can now think about what you can build with this. So for example, you could say if there are selected items, I want to get those items. You'll get the context of it 
in the code. You can see that on um, execute and you can get all the execution per event parameters and this includes the item in there item dot uh, id is in there if i was to look at that a bit further you've also got the selected rows as a collection as well if there was more than one so based on that information you can then get the item you can update it you could do all kinds of great things create a pdf send the information to another um, list it's completely up to you but using this scaffolding so it makes it very easy to build these custom list view command sets we really value your support of the channel if you haven't done already please click subscribe and a notification icon i'll see you next time